Hey guys, Tom Zhang here. A lot of people have asked me how to remove malware on their computers. This is the way I do it. I use this program called Malware Bytes. It's a free application. You can get it on malwarebytes.org. Um, there's also a paid version. I'm not sure what that does, but I, I get all of my malwares taken care of by just downloading the, tr uh, the free version. And it's only 7 megabytes. So after you finish downloading it, I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm just going to load it up. And there's three options. You can perform a quick scan, a full scan, or a flash scan. Um, the difference between these three is that the quick scan only scans for, I think, um, your C drives. Um, and it's not the whole C drive, it's just particular uh, folders in the C drive that's more prone to malwares. Um, the full scan is where you can actually select um, a drive on your computer uh, on which it'll perform a full scan. So the full scan will usually take longer than the quick scan. And it's only used if the quick scan cannot pick up um, all the malware it needs to pick up. And the flash scan is... Um, a, a quick, quick scan. So it only scans for your current uh, uh, processes running in your memory. I usually just click the quick scan and it's already running. So once it's done it'll pop up a summary of all the malwares that it has found and usually it'll ask you to restart your computer however sometimes uh, malwares nowadays are really smart um, they uh, they can sometimes disable you from running malware if that does happen um, you would have to restart your computer in safe mode and this is how it is done so I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer in safe mode it's shutting down And so what you want to do is you want to, um, on my computer, it's both the F8 and F9 keys. So I keep it hold down while it's booting. and it'll come up with the advanced boot options and you want to boot with safe mode with networking what that does is um, it boots into safe mode but also enables your networking drivers so you can connect to the internet and uh, that allows you to um, run the malware byte software and should it need a database update of the current uh, malwares um, so it can recognize your mal the malwares on your computer better um, so you would need internet for that that's why you're booting into safe mode with networking
and so here we are in safe mode I'm gonna type in malware here we go and it's basically the same um, as it is in the uh, normal windows um, basically uh, we're in the safe mode right now is usually if your computer is infected with one of the newer malware viruses it is so smart that it'll um, prevent your computer from actually running certain applications such as malware bytes so if that happens you would have to do uh, uh, the safe mode um, option so and usually uh, I've never had to actually perform a full scan to you know fully um, uh, fix my malware problems but if your quick scan doesn't uh, fully pick up all the malwares on your computer go ahead and perform the full scan now note um, it will take a little bit longer since it performs a, uh, a more detailed scan than the uh, quick scan does and uh, I usually wouldn't recommend the flash scan because um, the quick scan does uh, a flash scan um, so the flash scan is actually included in both the quick scan and the full scan so but anyways um, this is how I take care of all of my malware problems and it has always worked for me um, hopefully it will do the same for you again Malwarebytes is free you can get it on malwarebytes.org um, there's also a paid version if you do like it please buy their software to keep uh, their updates coming so anyways thank you for watching if you like this video you find it helpful please subscribe to my youtube channel um, add me on facebook if you don't like it please add me anyways i sort of do really need those subscriptions but anyways thank you for watching and see you next time